Your type of love, you the shock person If not, what type of drum person, no yeah. It is so good and it's so real and it's so free hi everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today i wanted to do something special we'll be doing a cooking session yay since i love food so much i got this package from this rack guys it's a lunchbox beef stir fry package and i think it feeds two people it has um pasta marinated shredded beef soy sauce onions chili flakes bell pepper garlic carrots and oyster sauce so if you don't know how to cook i think this is um, a DIY for you it's a perfect fit for you and we have here sweet and spicy pork ribs yum and inside our package we have blue band margarine um, marinated pork ribs yam chips barbecue sauce ketchup and green chili sauce and it takes just 25 minutes cooking time so today we are going to try out these boxes and then yes see what what it's in it so stay tuned for so more. guys we are about to unbox this and then see what's in this package i love the packaging so much it's so cute guys see very portable and i was expecting something very small but it actually looks big so shout out to this rack all inclusive ingredient box they have the contact details here package by dish rack ghana company limited you can read it right here all the details are there so yes, let's open it. Oosh. I like unboxing and opening new things. I don't want to get spoiled. Oh, look at this. What do we have here? Hands to heart. At this rock, we believe food is the fire by which most of life's beautiful stories get told. So we've curated heartfelt meals that can make you that can make for you for or with your favorite people whilst creating treasured memories turn over for instructions okay guys so i told you this helps so if you don't know how to cook it's a very easy way now they teach you how to make the beef stir fry heat oil in a pan empty beef packet into the pan and fry for five minutes set it aside in the same pan stir fry your diced garlic onions bell peppers and carrots and then add your beef to a vegetable stir fry allow to simmer cook your pasta so everything is done for you hi guys so i'm sure by now you know what's going on here so i wanted to share with you guys the ingredients that we have what i took out what what Ghanaians call macaroni but it is spaghetti or pasta then we have our oyster sauce bell peppers um our carrots they are all neatly diced guys so this rack did a good job with the onions and then chili pepper and all that so those of you who don't know how to cook this is going to save you a lot of time i'm telling you it's going to help you can even surprise your loved ones and bear in mind this is not an ad i just love the packaging and everything about it so this meets jesus christ mm. Yeah, marinated so come on come on come on my tree is very bad so guys pardon me i just love it it was really spiced well spiced so what was going on was that i wanted you to see the whole packaging all over again so i decided to put everything back inside so you can have a glimpse of what it looks like when i got it yes Bronya bo, bronya ba. Guys, spend time with your family, cooking, making merry, and just having lots and lots of fun. So today I'll be taking you through how I made the stir fry, um, beef stir fry, and so we have to prep our ingredients and uh, bowls. I use this beautiful non-stick chancing. Yes, because an electric oven it takes forever to get hot. So I put my fritter oil in first for it to get hot and i also put um water in the bowl for it to boil to add my pasta 
I was just showing you the meat because it looks so cute <laughs> whilst we're waiting for it to get hot. And now into our hot water, we add our pasta. Guys, looking at this pasta and some is not enough. So I added some spaghetti, but I did it without you guys seeing. And to my pasta and water, I added a little bit of oil and then salt to taste. And now these are the ingredients again. I prepped them closer to me so that I can have easy access when I'm making the meal. So yes, look at them and now we i don't know how you guys like your pasta do you like it broken into pieces or you like it just long and straight and curly so let's begin whilst we wait for our oil to heat up in the pan we will just be admiring our pasta finally finally the battle has ended so now we are going to open up our package and pour our beef inside i don't know if you guys can hear the sizzle but let me do the effect for you Shh. <laughs> that was just by the way so now few moments later uh, meat got fried just for five minutes just for five minutes and it tastes really good guys it tastes yum i i'm just even shocked i wasn't able to finish all before using it and now this is me again trying to take it out and i wanted to soak the oil out so i use tissue some people use sieve but i mean i'm old school classic so i prefer the tissue which soaks it very very well to drain out all the oil in it and i was smiling because i was happy there's food <laughs> aj it is well oh but I, I hope you guys are enjoying this video as much as i am as well cooking is something that we can all try to do it's a learning process you can just learn how to make easy meals enough of the bankuke fufuke jiji sometimes you have to go into national fine dining why pamper yourself kakra do some bit of spaghetti at home and let your family enjoy the spontaneous side of you okay now in the same pan i was reading the um menu thing that they gave me the instruction into the same pan we add our, our veggies uh first you add your ginger and then you add your veggies to stir fry it a bit and then onto that you add your meat the one that you've already fried then you mix it all up and mix it all up see how colorful and beautiful it looks my goodness mm -hmm. i can't wait to eat it already guys so after doing that i don't know why i was even reading it again meanwhile i know how to do stir fry already hey just because i have to teach people how to make it it's even easy i've already drained my spaghetti my spaghetti water so i just poured it into my stir fry mix and then i stirred it all together so that it can fry up and get that she feeling the the smoothness of the the spaghetti mixing with the ingredients the ginger the garlic the veggies my goodness so you just stir that up a bit and then you are going to add i think your soy sauce now so there's soy sauce and there's also oyster sauce. There's a difference, guys. Soy sauce and oyster sauce to give it sakalano. Beko o nani nefe brownish. Uh-huh. It didn't just happen by magic. It happened because of the sauce. Alright, guys? Because of the sauce. So you get your soy sauce ready. And then they said you should add any spice of your choice. So I decided to add the beef chili aromat spice and also complete seasoning. But if you have Maggi, you can use it. Any of them is optional. If you want more pepper, you can add bakushito or powdered pepper to it. And then I added my soy sauce finally after talking so much. I added my soy sauce to it and I added the oyster sauce. And then, guys, it was looking... Mm, I wish you were in the kitchen to smell what I was smelling. My goodness gracious, it is yummy and tasty and it smells amazing. So I added my oyster sauce and because of the container, I didn't want to leave anything to, to chance. So I had to scrape it all out. But then wash it. I must scrape it. Oh, every penny counts. <laughs> but this guy, this is a very affordable, oh, guys. Very, very affordable. I think I got it for like 45 Ghana CDs. Yes. Oh, no. 48 Ghana CDs for the beef stir fry. So you guys can just easily order yours and make it at home with your family, your friends, your loved ones. And have a wonderful Christmas instead 
instead of fufu every day you can spice it up a bit with macaroni beef stir fry or pasta as the abroji people call it yes so now that we are done adding our sauce we are just going to add a little bit of the aromat and then the complete seasoning and then the chili pepper as well keke flavor about buttermin kun wanna wa no feeling eh ye ni ni mi ona no in chon when you taste it you are going to be in heaven <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i was still reading this thing again Anyway, it's always good to follow instructions. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Say, well, please use scissors so don't go and use knife and cut yourself. Me, I'm a professional with knife, so I know how to handle myself in the kitchen. So please, I don't want anyone to go and complain that in your flowing in the also don't speak guy i just meant i'm going to cut myself or i can't help it yes yeah, so i was adding my seasoning at this point a reasonable amount una like a seasoning they always make it so small so when you're pouring it it's quite difficult so i poured a little bit of seasoning you can add salt as well it depends on oh taste bads if you like salt you can add salt but i didn't because i realized that there was a little bit of salt in the soy sauce already you can also go in for low sodium soy sauce for those of you who have it at home i mean these are ingredients you can even buy at the market and do yourself so if you don't really have money to go um order dish rack you can just do it yourself but i mean everything is already done for you jake bako one about flo carrots ke ka ke onion ke mi nibi and so after that this is our tasting period um so i made my cameraman slash my friend my very good friend taste and trust me he wasn't even speaking he was just doing mm 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 yeah no na papa he was enjoying this is enjoyment level 100 y'all got to got to taste this y'all got to taste this in fact when i was even enjoying it myself hmm, i could, i was speechless I'm not hyping it too. I'm actually telling you how it tastes because I love food. So if I know things things don't taste right, I'll tell you. But this was actually really good. Trust me, it was actually really. I was even surprised it turned out great. So if I go to the restaurant, Kempinski, they'll sell this for me for what? 500 Ghana cedis. Meanwhile, I can do it in my home or buy from the shrug 45 Ghana cedis and I'll cook my own thing, guys. No, my people coming from america if you don't have food or if you don't have enough money to buy food every day you can buy this and cook it's also it also feels like a home cooked meal even though it's already prepped for you okay so don't miss out on the opportunity to have fun they have amazing um amazing and variety of um dishes that you can choose from i think it's new so they are now expanding so guys that is it that is me and i was enjoying because i love food and i love fasting too don't get it twisted y'all eat well pray well and so we have come to the first half of our episode our cooking episode we are going into the second half which is a uh, um fried yam with pork ribs mrs sweet and sour pork ribs and guys i already heated the oil in the in the bowl because charlie time no day an electric stove a church oh my god you have to wait for like hours before it gets hot because it's electric and now this is the pork ribs it was really spiced hey spice a bottom in gentry dench dench the spice was really in it in it, in it and it was really nice it, it looked really nice so i used the microwave for our pork ribs guys because they gave me the option of either an oven or a microwave so i poured my yam into the oil for it to fry and then i prepped my pork ribs and then put it in the microwave so this is me going to take I'm um, doing my cleanliness as usual. It's a no too much of me. Kono shi ami a fake balance. Then I opened it up, put the pork ribs in the bowl or a plate, a microwavable plate, and then put it in the microwave for it to cook a bit. Yes, and guys, me in Lebanon I used to a microwave. I'm I know I'm disgracing myself, but I will. It's best to speak the truth. So I made the owner come and do it for me. <laughs> 
easy. <laughs> Don't laugh at me too much, guys. But I mean, everybody's microwave is different, so you need to understand. And so, yes, I was taught how to do it, and immediately, because I didn't want you guys to know, I turned it off and turned it on again so that it would favor me. <laughs> and then I was frying the yam and still tasting my food, even though I wasn't supposed to do that, but I was hungry. And then I took out, so you put it in for, I think, 10 minutes the first time or 15 minutes for the first time. And then you bring it out again and add um, your butter to it. They gave us blue band margarine. So you added that. And guys, when I added the butter, it, it was melting on the meat. It fell Oh my God, it was so beautiful. So now my yam is fried, it's soaked, it's crunchy, super, super crunchy. I mean, I could hear the growl growl when I was chewing, guys. It was so crunchy. And then we were waiting for our microwave to do bing bing. Then we can take it out and enjoy the pork ribs. Don't forget to put your butter around it as well. And you put it in the microwave twice. So the first one is for 20 minutes. And then the second round, when you add your butter to melt around it and you put it in the microwave, you do that for like 10 minutes before you eat it. A microwave is equally like an oven. It cooks the thing. Pe, pe, pe. And so the food remaining, we just put it in a package bowl to prep our meals for maybe Monday or something like that. Yes, and I'm going to eat all of it. I'm sorry, I am inviting you virtually, okay? Then you get your chopping board and your knife. Me, I was trying to be a professional, but guys, I didn't go here, mommy. <laughs> oh my god so yes pardon me and then as i was eating i opened the microwave and decided to take out our meat excuse my puff hair okay yes so i brought our meat out and look at look at it just look at it wow come on me telly <laughs> those who don't understand guy i meant look at the tail of the meat, the pork ribs <laughs> so you can get this pork ribs for i think 50 Ghana CDs in a restaurant, but I bought it for 45 Ghana CDs at the Shrek. The whole package came at 45. Yes, 45. Is is this shocking? No, but 45. And so I decided to cut it into pieces so that I can give you a fine dining experience. But guys, it flopped. And yesterday, I didn't know that it was It was just burning me throughout the video. <laughs> But I wanted to be hardcore so that you guys don't understand and feel the pain I am feeling. <laughs> anyway, that's why I was holding the tissue because I didn't air Oh my god, is this what people go through when they are cooking? Wow, wow, wow. it was very hot, oh, very, very hot. And look at that, look at that juicy pork. We are friend of pork, original Pluto. Oh no. The amount I said, I say original pork, so I just cut it and I decided to style it up. But first of all, they said we should add um barbecue seasoning or barbecue sauce to it. Guys, look at it, isn't it? Ah, there, come 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 I am a chef, oh. so I just opened the barbecue container and then I just used my hand as usual, it's just like dry rub. I didn't have that brush, so I used it like a dry rub and then I put it around the um pork ribs so that to give it that juicy luscious look oh my god oh my god wait they call yes i know use tissue because only the family have a and sometimes i feel like these people they cheat us because they give us bones instead of proper pork meat but in yes we'll find it like we'll take it like that they said it's ribs so the ribs you don't expect a lot of meat around it just like your human ribs <laughs> it's full of bones anyway so that was what I was doing. I was decorating it and giving it this um, ahum, ahum, luscious look. And then you garnish it and add your fried yam to your chopping board. I used the chopping board as my plate, y'all, because it was beautiful. And then voila, here we go. Look at me admiring the food. I enjoyed it. This is my beautiful rack, my fried yam. And then my spiced pork ribs with my ketchup on the side. Guys, I was eating this thing like I was I was hungry, like a comic dimmy. Ah 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 what a wow. By repan a crunchy say and I'm not I chewed it backstage why I didn't want anyone to see it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys love this video 
and you have more cooking videos with me bye love you Oh, yeah.